Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the AC GAM mechanical keyboard. This is a full-sized 104 key layout that has a dedicated numpad on the right for number processing. And otherwise, it uses blue switches and retails for about 50 bucks online, which is, again, a pretty low-cost budget option as far as mechanical keyboards go. The company is specialized in terms of gaming peripherals. They also make backlit uh, RGB-style games pads as well as mouse pads so there's a ton of options that you can look through and likewise this keyboard is also RGB which means you can customize it with a number of different colors and patterns for illuminating it and using it in the dark. Contents of the packaging are pretty simple. Aside from the keyboard, there's also a mini CD in case you need a driver, but that's very rare because it's basically plug and play for Windows and Mac computers. Here's also a quick user manual, and there's also a kind of keycap remover so that you can pop off the keys if you need to wash them, replace them, or change it out for a different style. Taking a look at the keyboard next, this is what it's uh, looks like. It's a very traditional layout and design, so it's not something that's really exciting, but at the same time it does have a pretty fairly premium construction quality. The entire keyboard has a metal uh, body in addition to these chamfered edges, which uh, definitely makes it seem a bit more expensive. Um, otherwise, we have pretty typical keycaps, which are also slightly tilted and ergonomic. What that means is if we look at the side, you can see how it uh, slopes off towards the center and then gets wider on the left and the right. And that means that when you're typing on it, your hands feel a bit more ergonomic in terms of the placement, and you can get a slightly faster typing rate. On the back of the keyboard, you'll find access to the company's logo. You can see that the cable here is not detached. Uh, but it has a decent length with roughly 1.2 meters long. It has a gold-plated USB 2.0 connector and the feet which that you can pop up at an elevated angle. Furthermore, you can also change kind of where the cable comes out from so you can tug it along either to the left or to the right so that it comes off at a different angle depending on your setup. So plug it in, you can see the lights turn on automatically and it's actually fairly bright so you can still see it even when there's a bit of room lighting. But if we kind of dim the lights here and uh, make the effect a bit more kind of apparent parents, you can definitely tell that uh, uh, this is something that will help you in terms of visibility in low light environments. Let's talk about some of the modes that you can program this with. You tap on function and then you can tap on uh, F5 to change between different patterns. So for instance, right now we're at a solid color. I can then tap on the arrow up and down to go through different color choices. So that uh, starts with green and goes all the way to red. Function again, this has a slightly fading color, so it will slowly transition between the colors. Once more, this has a vertically going upwards kind of bar movement. Once more, it kind of uh, goes in this uh, circular motion. And once more, now we have a sliding motion going from left to right, as you can see here. So uh, pretty colorful. And one more, it goes back to a solid color. If we tap on function in F6, this is basically the mode where it's reactive and it's only going to light up the keys that you're typing on. So for instance, if I kind of drag it along, you can see it's going to follow my path, uh, kind of like a trace, which is very interesting. Uh, not the most practical for typing in the dark, but a definitely cool kind of a conversation starter. At any point in time during an animation sequence, I can also pause it by tapping on function F7. So this will instantly pause it from one particular change. F6 again, and now we have a row that's lit up whenever you're typing and it changes color as well so it's not going to stay the same exact color even if you're on the same row so it gives you a bit of more customization options and again it comes alive with a number of uh, different vibrant colors tapping on function and f6 once more now we have a sliding out motion you can see there's a little bit of choppiness in the animation but it also makes it look in my opinion at least kind of interesting and cool and you can type at multiple places and see how it reacts function F6 once more, and now we have this sound uh, activated uh, design. This is actually one of the most interesting modes on here because it's not a feature that you'll find on any other keyboard. What this means is there's some kind of microphone integrated into the keyboard, which is a rare feature and a strange feature because it's not something that you would really need a microphone for, but it's there. So things like snapping, things like tapping on it makes the entire thing light up and react uh, in a crazy way, whereas a very small volume just has the bottom. So it's almost like a sound equalizer in that sense. So very interesting. 
function and F6 once more. And now we have just the numpad light up. So for gaming as well as for number processing, function F6 once more uh, takes us back into this reactive mode. So again, FY, F, uh, F5 is all the continuous lighting options which are animated versus F6 which are more playful based on what you press, they're more interactive. Um, so it's categorized in a pretty nice way and I think that next to the Ajaz uh, keyboard that we saw previously, this thing also has one of the most complete set of uh, modes that I've seen, which is good news if you're into customizing these keyboards and really showing them off and using these lights uh, to their full extent. Um, otherwise, again, they are using blue switches, which uh, as aforementioned is a very common type of switch uh, to employ on a slightly lower cost model. I personally like them, but they do produce a fair amount of sound. Mechanical keyboards are much more durable than silicone keyboards. They also, of course, uh, do part of the action for you with the design of the switches, it means you have to exert a very uh, small amount of pressure and the entire key will click down all the way, uh, which is one of the reasons why, along with the sound and the sensation, that, that the performance on here can be dramatically faster on than on a regular keyboard, making it a good investment for people who type a lot, game a lot, or do a ton of coding. So something just to really keep in mind as a general outline. All right, so let's do a quick sound demo. So this is what it sounds like when you're typing rapidly on this particular keyboard. And if we switch over kind of here to the numpad, Again, very consistent. There's no real differences in the sound. Same thing with the space bar. No matter where you're pressing, it feels the same in terms of the action. So that's more or less it as far as our review of the AC Gram uh, 104 key mechanical keyboard is concerned. I would say it's a good budget option. Um, really, there's a seems to be more and more mechanical keyboards coming out with uh, at this price range, which makes the delineation between them quite thin. Um, but I would say that the AC Gram stands out for having one of the more complete sets of custom customization options with the lights. So if you're really into that, this makes for a good option. Um, the overall experience and the typing, uh, the sound, as well as the accuracy of the keys are also quite high. And I like the overall uh, kind of the build as well for this price point. Um, you, you can check out some of our previous reviews on mechanical keyboards in the past few weeks. We've also covered ones with a round cap design by E Element that reminded me of a typewriter. So that's more of a niche uh, you know, design choice if you want something that looks visually different. This one is going to work better for the majority of mainstream users. And the Ajaz, also in the same price range, has the most compact size, but also eliminates the numpad, which some people who game a lot or enter a lot of numbers may find useful. So overall, I would say that this one might be the best all-round keyboard out of the past three that we've reviewed. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the AC Gram 104 key blue switch mechanical keyboard.